Hey guys, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to go over what exactly is multi-channel fulfillment on Amazon and how you can use it to get more sales. I recently started sending more items into Amazon FBA. I've been sending a lot more packages into Amazon's warehouse. Now the whole goal of this is that I'm going to take all the items that are already selling well on Amazon through FBM, all the items that I am personally fulfilling myself, and I want to automate that process by having Amazon going ahead and they're going to be the ones packaging up the item and shipping it out to the customer. Aside from Amazon, I also sell on a lot of other different platforms. I sell on eBay, I sell on my own website, and I also sell on a couple of other platforms here and there. What multi-channel fulfillment allows you to do is you can take the inventory that you have stored at Amazon and you can go ahead and you can ship it out to anybody that you'd like. If you get an order on eBay, if you get an order on your website, if your neighbor wants an item, you can go ahead and you can go and use the inventory that you currently have at Amazon and you can create a fulfillment order and they will ship out the product to your customer. This allows you to reach more customers because there are a lot of customers that don't shop on Amazon but shop on eBay. There are customers that will only shop on Walmart but don't shop on eBay or Amazon. So you get access to a lot of other customers. You can offer your item to a lot more people. But more importantly, this is also how I go ahead and get rid of slow moving items. So if your item is not really selling too well on Amazon, you can go ahead and you can offer it onto eBay and you get access to more customers to potentially get rid of that slow selling item. So now I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a multi-channel fulfillment order. So let's say that you had gotten an order on eBay and you currently have the item stored in an Amazon warehouse. What you would do is you would just go to your seller central, you would just go to your items and then you would highlight the item that you would want to ship or that the customer actually ordered. So once you go ahead and you select it, you're just going to go here and you're going to click create fulfillment order. It's then going to bring you up to this page and on this page, what you're going to do is you're just going to input the customer's information. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in their first name, their address and all the information that you need. And again, this can be done for any customer anywhere. This could be for an order on Etsy. This could be done for an order on Walmart. This could be done for anyone that you know. The goal here is that you're just going to be putting in your customer's information and then Amazon is going to go ahead, take the inventory that they have at their warehouse that you have shipped in to the Amazon FBA program and then they're going to go ahead and ship it out for you. So once you go ahead and you input your customer's information, then you just got to check everything, make sure that everything is okay. You don't actually need to put in an order ID. Amazon is going to generate that for you. The order date, the comments, I usually just put thank you for your order and you can leave it at that. Next, you want to make sure that the quantity is correct and then you're going to press continue. So once you press continue, the next step is just to select the shipping option that you are going to use in order to ship the item out to your customer. Now, Amazon does charge you for the shipping. So if I was going to do standard shipping and it would get to my customer in about a week's time, then this is actually going to charge me $7.12. If I wanted to do two day guaranteed shipping, then that is only going to charge me about $2.40 more. So it does seem a little bit more worth it. Again, you will need to build this into your price, whether you're selling on eBay, whether you're selling on Etsy, and you also want to make sure that you are keeping up with your metrics, making sure that you're sending out the item on time. But for this order, I'm just going to select standard shipping since my customer doesn't need it that soon. And then from there, I'm going to just place the order. So once you place the order, you're just going to be brought up to the success page. This shows that the order went through. Amazon is now processing the order. And as soon as it ships, you will be getting an email for that. And then you're just going to take the tracking number for that order. And then you're just going to upload it to the site from where the customer actually ordered. So that's everything that you really need to know about multi-channel fulfillment. That is going to help you sell all of your inventory that you currently have in Amazon's warehouse. And now you can use that inventory to go ahead and sell it to customers on other websites. This has been a really powerful tool in my business since since I also do sell on other platforms and I do keep most of my inventory in Amazon because that's where I get most of my orders. So thank you for watching. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.